Hey folks, how's it going? Plastic Guy here, coming back with another figure review. And today we're taking a look at the latest CT Toys knockoff action figure with their bootleg Mafex brown suited Wolverine. And I think this is a great release from CT Toys. Brown suited Wolverine is my favourite look to the character and I feel like it's a look that's not really been appreciated much recently from the usual figure companies. We do have Marvel Legends releasing a new brown suited Wolverine as part of their Secret Wars wave. I do have that figure pre-ordered and I was excited to get a new brown suited Wolverine from Marvel Legends of course being an upgrade from the original that we have here but I don't think the colors on that figure are quite to my liking I do think this color scheme here is a lot more impressive and so I'm not sure how I feel about that latest Marvel Legends I might keep it mint on card I do think the best looking brown suit Wolverine is the original Mafex figure but this was released some time ago, I definitely missed the initial release and I told myself if they did ever reissue this figure that I would pick it up. And a lot of collectors I think were in the same boat, however CT Toys have beaten them to the punch and so I have the CT Toys version here in front of me and of course I want to do what we always do, take a closer look at this thing. Let me know your guys thoughts on this figure down in the comment section below and let's just jump right into the video, taking a closer look at the packaging here. I think this looks really nice, we've got the Wolverine logo, X-Men, another kind of Wolverine logo here. X-Men logo, display of the figure, really cool comic Wolverine image up in the top left, 138, 6-inch CT logo, picture of the figure, more logos down here, we've got the side of the box here and the other side, and then the back of the packaging, of course we get some more of the product images which all look really nice, I think these are just straight Mafex rip-off pictures to be honest. And then, yeah, we've got some more logos up at the top here and a bunch of mumbo jumbo down at the bottom. Just to show off some past CT Toys boxes, we've got the black suited Spider-Man and the more recent 185 Mafex knockoff and they are all very similar in shape, size and design, which I do think is really cool. So taking a closer look at what we get with our Mafex bootleg here, we do get a flight stand always comes in handy. We then get two more relaxed loose gloved hands here. We can see that the metal sort of claw retract, <laughs> what do you call them? The uh, bits that the claws retract into are quite nicely sculpted and painted here and we can port them on later on, see how that goes. We then of course get the claw hands and these look terrific. Even with like official Marvel Legends releases, you quite often see warped claw hands where the claws are ski whiffed, they don't really quite sit right. These look honestly outstanding. I love the paint on them, this metal effect looks great, the shape and size of them. These are really, really cool. I am stoked on these and I can't wait to change them over onto the figure later on. On the figure we do have these clobbering time fisted hands and before we move on to the figure we do get a couple of interchangeable head sculpts here. Starting off with the interchangeable mast head sculpt we get this sort of smirk on Logan's face here and this looks pretty good. I don't know is there something just slightly off in the corner of his mouth there? Overall, I think it's really nice. I love the size. Again, the shape of the ears on the mask here, I think are great. And uh, nice colors, nice paint, but there is just something that looks like it's like missing on the right hand side. I think maybe his lips just disappear a wee bit too early. But overall, pretty happy with that. And then we get this Logan unmasked head sculpt. And again, I think this is painted really nicely. The sculpts there. But overall, I don't think it's the strongest Logan head sculpt and I do want to just quickly compare this to some of the Marvel Legends head sculpts we've gotten in the past. Here's one of our most recent ones with the Logan and Sabretooth 2 pack, he's got the cowboy hat on. And I do think the 
overall sculpt of the Marvel Legends is better than our CT Toys version here, CT Toys slash Mafex I suppose, I mean I don't know how much better the original is but I do think some of these Marvel Legends sculpts are really really good. My favourite being this one here. This was part of like the kind of training suit retro carded Wolverine figure and it's probably my favourite Logan head sculpt um, in any sort of figure form and again I do think it is beating out this CT Toys head sculpt here. It'll be interesting to see if these ones port onto the figure at all. I definitely think the CT Toys version is better than this Marvel Legends Logan head sculpt. I think there are some definitely more questionable Wolverine head sculpts from Marvel Legends out there. And uh, this being kind of one off them. I think this is from the Love Triangle 3 pack, which is a bit dated at this point. And interestingly, I think Marvel Legends is really playing it close to home here with this one uh, I think is very similar to the Mafex version with the hair sculpt and the expression and again I think Marvel Legends might have done it better and so I have to give points to the Marvel Legends releases here I do think this unmasked Logan head sculpt is good but it's not really beating out any of our Marvel Legends well it's been out a couple of the Marvel Legends ones, but overall, I think uh, I think Marvel Legends takes it on this one. But still, a good a good head sculpt from CT Toys here. And if you are wanting to use that unmasked head sculpt, you do have the cowl that can port around his neck and sit on the figure as well. So a nice interchangeable accessory that we don't really get with Marvel Legends, not that I can remember anyway. Maybe with the Love Triangle 3 pack? I can't quite remember. And then of course we've got the figure itself. And this, <laughs> I mean are we surprised? CT Toys again have got me speechless for that £20 price point. I mean, I don't have the original to compare to this thing. But I've seen a lot of comparisons on Instagram, on Reddit, and getting this thing in hand, feeling it, seeing it, this is worth the money, man. It is such an incredible Wolverine action figure, and we can compare it to some of the other Wolverines that I have later on. But to start with the head sculpt here, I would maybe like to see some more paint on those lips. They do kind of blend into the rest of the chin there, but... You can see the sculpts there, I do again like the shape and size of the ears, I like the yellow paint here, they've executed all the head sculpts pretty well including this more neutral posed one um, that we've got ported onto the figure. And going into the rest of the figure I have to say I'm not too sure about some of the paint, like I've not seen anyone else talking about this but on the forearm here you can see it's very bronze, I don't know if I turn the light down a bit if you can see that a bit better, but I'd say this is more of like a normal flesh tone and then where the forearm glove is meeting his skin tone you can see there's a very golden bronze sort of paint in that forearm and you can actually see it throughout other areas of the arm as well, we do get this nice uh, arm hair effect but you can see there is some like bronzy yellow paint kind of flowing throughout the rest of the arm here maybe more so on this arm you can really see it on the side of the bicep there i don't know if that's something featured on the original figure but you can definitely see it um on this ct toys version and I don't know, I think it looks a bit weird, especially when like, again, some more kind of normal just flesh tone on the shoulder area there and then the bronze really coming in on other areas of the arm. Yeah, odd, let me know if you guys are experiencing the same thing on your figure, is it the yellow from the body? I don't know, it's definitely odd when you first see it but... It's, it's not bad, I don't, I don't think it ruins the figure at all, I think it kind of, it works, but it looks like he's got some like arm makeup on, uh, to really kind of put it that way. I think with all our CT Toys figures, we've noticed that we can see the pins in the joints, 
In the Spidey figures, they have been silver pins, and they've actually went for a gold pin on Wolverine here, which I think is a nice touch. If if you are going to see the pins, it might as well be a colour that blends in with the rest of the figures. So although you can see the pins on this guy, they have went for a different colour that works with the figure, <laughs> especially with the bronze gold coloured arms. But the rest of the figure I think is painted really nicely, I've not noticed anything else, um, the yellows and the browns work really well and you've got that red belt which looks great. I've seen quite a few people on, um, I think it was Reddit, their figure came with like two right feet, two right boots. I was very scared that I might have uh, fallen victim to the same sort of figure delivery, but it looks like this one is all intact. Uh, he's got a right and left foot there. The boots do look to be accurate. And so yeah, something to be aware of when you are picking these bootlegs up. The quality control is not going to be, I was going to say, it's not going to be the same as Marvel Legends, but even Marvel Legends don't have the best quality control, so it is something just to be aware of. You know, you might get something like two right feet, but touch wood, fingers crossed, I've never had that problem with CT Toys, and this one looks to be all good. Let's swap some things around on this guy. So of course I had to put the claw hands on Wolverine here and again these just look absolutely spot on. I will say the right arm changing the hand over no problem, the left arm the peg came out with the hand and I had to use a pair of pliers to remove the peg from the original hand and it was pretty tough and so I've put the the side that was stuck in the hand into the arm uh, and hopefully it gets stuck in the arm from now on but just a minor gripe uh, that you might have to look out for uh, when you're dealing with this figure yourself swapping the head over was super easy no problems there and yeah <laughs> this thing looks great let's compare them to some other figures so the only other brown suited wolverine figure that i have is the original marvel legends release I do think this is the original and not the retro carded reissue and it is a nice Wolverine brown suited figure of course but if you're comparing both of these and for the price point there's no reason not to go for the CT Toys. Personally I do much prefer the colours used on the CT Toys version. I do think the yellow is a lot more accurate compared to this more orangey yellow. I like the red belt better with the X-Men logo which might have been changed on the retro carded version, I'm, I'm not actually sure. I do think the claws are a lot cooler and overall your range of movement and everything, the CT Toys brown suited Wolverine for 20 bucks is going to be the winner for me. Again, Marvel Legends are giving us an updated brown suited Wolverine this year. I do have it pre-ordered but I kind of regretted my purchase once I seen the colours better. I, I do think those shades of brown and yellow are just, yeah, they're not it. And then here is our new CT Toys figure next to another couple of Marvel Legends Wolverine figures. We've got the Heat Claws of Wolverine on the left, and this is the training suit Wolverine that I was referring to earlier in the video. Again, I do much prefer the claws on the CT Toys version, and I think he is standing pretty much the exact same height as these Marvel Legends Wolverine figures, which means that this CT Toys is definitely going to fit in well to your Marvel Legends collection and when Marvel Legends are the main figures that I pick up, I'm pretty stoked to see that. On the left here we've got our VHS Marvel Legends Cyclops and on the right we've got our movie Hugh Jackman Marvel Legends Wolverine figure. To put them next to a couple of Marvel Legends Spider-Man figures, we've got AF-15 on the left and the retro carded Spidey with the Raft Spider-Man head swap here and again he's fitting in pretty well with our Marvel Legends figures here, I do especially like how he looks with AF-15 Spidey. Before we bring in some more CT Toys bootleg action figures, here he is next to the Marvel Legends Sabretooth and these two look great next to one another. So here are another two CT Toys knockoff action figures with our Mafex Symbiote Spidey and Spider-Man 185 CT Toys figures next to our new Wolverine in the middle. And I don't think these guys scale very well next to one another to be honest. I mean, it's not terrible, but Wolverine here who's a known small character in the Marvel Universe 
is standing just slightly smaller than both of these Spider-Man figures. He definitely looks much more bulky and big and so proportion wise, I don't think these guys are scaling very well with one another but a lot of people said that they weren't picking up the Spider-Man bootleg figures because of the scale and so I think this shows that they have actually upscaled Wolverine a fair bit compared to their previous bootleg figures. Again, seeing comparisons between the CT Toys and the Authentic Mafex on Instagram and Reddit, I can say there is really not too much of a difference in proportions and height between the bootleg and the original. The same way with the Spider-Man 185 and Symbiote, with the CT and the original there was such a big height difference and difference in proportions and so again I do think they have actually upscaled their Wolverine a fair bit and I think this is also very good to see because CT toys have predominantly been sticking with Spider-Man figures whether it's SH figure arts or Mafex. Spider-Man has been their bootleg character and it's great to see that they have absolutely nailed a different Marvel character this time around and I do hope they continue to give us the likes of Superman, Batman, Daredevil, the possibilities at this point are endless. I am really hoping for an amazing Spider-Man 1 Mafex action figure. Let me know what your biggest wish from CT Toys is down in the comment section below. One last thing, I forgot to do any Marvel Legends head swaps. I'll fire it right at the end of the video for those who have hung around. It doesn't work. But if you shove some blue tack in there, you can sort of make it work, especially if you just want some quick photos uh, for your toy photography. But yeah, it doesn't really fit on the peg or anything. I'll show you what it looks like without the blue tack. And so there we have it for our new CT Toys brown suit Wolverine action figure. <laughs> and what else is there to say? Another outstanding bootleg. I've seen folks saying that this is the best CT Toys bootleg so far. And I think in ways that's true. I do think this looks extremely accurate to the original, especially in the proportions. The similarity in the sculpt is there. But I don't know the... The weird pain in the arms is really throwing me off for some reason. I'd love to know if you guys have experienced anything similar down in the comments section because that's definitely not something I've seen on Reddit or Instagram. It does make me wonder if there is something like that on the original figure, but it's again not something that is ruining this bootleg for me. I do think this is still really great and I'm really happy to pick up yet another CT Toys less than £20 figure over on AliExpress. A lot of people ask me to um, leave the link to these figures but just go on AliExpress and find a seller that you're happy buying from. Check the seller reviews. I'm not I'm not too happy sharing any links because again they are bootlegs, they're getting shipped from all over the world. I don't want to give someone a link and then they have a bad experience. I'm not getting paid from any of these companies to promote anything. Again, hop onto AliExpress, find a seller that has good positive reviews and if you feel happy ordering from them, pick up your CT Toys bootleg. Also I think there's a CT Toys Twitter page check that out i'd seen screenshots that they kind of officially endorsed an aliexpress seller i think it was toy planet store i'm not a hundred percent how true that is if it was a fake screenshot i don't know but again feel free to check out the ct toys twitter page and find out more about these knockoffs let me know your thoughts on this knockoff down in the comment section below. Is it the best CT Toys bootleg so far? I'd love to know your thoughts. For me, it definitely has to be up there. I'm super stoked on it. While you're down there, guys, if you could do me a massive favor, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, then please hit that subscribe button. I'll leave the link to my Instagram down in the description below, where I'll definitely be posting a lot of pictures of this Wolverine up over onto the Instagram page, and it would mean a lot if you could check that out. It means a lot that you've watched this video right here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to hop on over to the channel page, check out any of my other reviews. I have reviewed a lot of these CT Toys bootlegs now. Hit any one of the links that are popping up on the screen at the moment. And until next time, guys, as always, I'll catch you on the flip-flop later. Cheers.